bad lighting alert. If it's a maybe, if it's a I need to do something with, it's just a donate. It's time to just let it go. Are leaving the house and I yes, I just threw them. I, I'll have to pick them up. <laughs> Sometimes we have to let go of the things we love in order to create that life that we want to live. This is my motto, friends. I'll that I have to manage. I don't want to manage it. <laughs> wow, 2023. It's hard to believe. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Slowly Simplifying My Spaces. Today we are down in the basement, so excuse the bad lighting as I always say, but we are tackling my storage room again and I am looking forward to this. We have slowly simplified my space through 2022 and I'm bringing it back for 2023 because I definitely have more layers of that onion to peel off and I want to go even further with my minimalism journey. So come along with me as I tackle my storage room and we peel another layer off, declutter, simplify, and minimize all the things and only keep the things that we use and need to make room for what matters most. So let's jump right into it and head into the storage room. So here is the storage room. It is definitely minimized a lot. Um, considering what it was. I'm going to link my video from last year when I did the storage room so you can really see a true before um, and that's not even as bad as it was. I'm going to also I'm gonna also link a video I believe it was posted in 2018 when I was decluttering this space and my goodness if you want a true before check out that video. It's I'm amazed. <laughs> I had that much stuff, but we've come a long way and we're going to go even further. So my main point today is to focus on these shelves. I am not going to focus on that closet. That is what I call my teaching closet. And that space is for another video. So be on the lookout for that. For today, we're sticking over here. So I'm going to set you up on the tripod. And we're going to jump right into it and we are going to go through everything on those shelves and see what we can part with to make room for all of my holiday decor. I think I'm going to end up posting this video before my winter reset video which will be taking down all my holiday decorations. I had originally planned for that to be my first slowly simplifying your space video but the more I thought about it I was thinking it would be nice to be able to go through all my holiday decor and have a space already ready to put it in. So we're going to do this first, then we're going to reset the home. Tomorrow I'll end up taking down all of my holiday decorations and simplifying those, which will be the following Monday's Slowly Simplifying Your Space video. Make sense? Hope so. Let's go to it. Bad lighting alert. <laughs> Okay, let's start over on the smaller shelf. It's the easiest place to start. Right off the bat, I'm seeing some pillows. Ugh, I love pillows, but Cooper loves pillows as well. Um, I want to keep my Christmas ones. My, oh, I'm going to part with this one. I, I don't use it. I, it's only one. And really, I mean, I like the form. I wish this pillow, which I love for fall, was down like this. I wonder if there's a way I can do You know what? No, no. I'm not going to because that's what I used to end up doing before is I would think, what could I do? How could I fix this? Could I potentially, and no, no. If it's a, if it's a maybe, if it's a, I need to do something with, it's just a donate. It's time to just let it go and if I see something in the future that fits all the boxes, then maybe I will buy it. But this, it doesn't fit all the boxes. And you know what else is going to go? This. I love it. I love the gold pumpkin, but it doesn't fit. I don't like the polyfill in it. So both these pillows are leaving the house. And I, yes, I just threw them. I'll have to pick them up. Um, I like this one. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I am going to keep that. And I love these. 
this. I'm like, you know what? I don't, I don't love this one. I'm going to let this one go. Oh, I need to bring this up. This, 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 this. This is my motto, friends. All you need is coffee and Wi-Fi. Yes. I need to make this fit in my, um, I'm going to bring this upstairs. For the time being, though, I'm just going to leave it on my shelf. <laughs> uh, and yes. And yes. These are going upstairs once I'm ready. I'm just going to leave them on the shelf for now. Look at this. This is a keep. Connor made this for me when he was in preschool. So I'm keeping that. Okay, two things. This sparkly tree, I am letting go. I didn't use it this Christmas. I don't foresee myself using it next year. So honestly, that's going to go. And then this wicker tray, I love. But the handle's broken. And I do not see us using it. I think trays and bins are great for corralling items together. But my whole idea behind slowly simplifying my spaces is to have less decor items and less clutter and having a tray I feel is just screaming to add things to and I'm afraid that I'll fall back into my core traps of wanting to buy things and have because other people do does that make sense? So I think I'm going to part with it as much as I love it. Sometimes we have to let go of the things we love in order to create that life that we want to live. So this tray is going to go and someone will, I'm sure someone will be able to fix the handle. You could even take the straps off and it would still be beautiful. It's just not a piece that's meant for me at this season of my life right now. And in the direction that I want to go. on to the bigger shelf there might be some things on here that I tried to declutter already in a past video and that just didn't get out of the house those things happen it's real life I share nothing but <laughs> I share nothing but real life here on my channel so if you enjoy simplifying decluttering minimizing content hit that subscribe button join my family here love to have you and go and check out instagram i am challenging myself this year on instagram to post daily so head on over there for some real time decluttering but let's tackle this i see some things already that i'm going to part with i see a sentimental bin i am not going to touch i did sentimental during my 12 days of decluttering. I will link that above. So head on over and check out that video if you want to see how I tackle some of my decluttering of sentimental items. But I see some things that are not sentimental that I'm going to let go of. Um, this is one of them. Cute Target dollar spot sign. I can't believe I'm getting rid of this. Past self was obsessed with Target dollar spot items. And I think that's because we don't have a Target here in Canada. That every time we would go to the US, I would head to Target and buy everything that I saw on social media that every other YouTuber or content creator bought. And that's not what I'm going for anymore. So I'm going to part with this because I really have no need for it. I'm not feeling the cutesy decor. I mean, I still like cute decor. Don't get me wrong. But I don't want to clutter up my counters with a bunch of stuff that I have to manage. I don't want to manage it. 
I am tired of trying to keep up with Joneses. And this is your friendly reminder that you don't have to. You don't have to keep up with the Joneses. You can do what works for you and what works for your family and not worry about what other people are doing. So just because everyone else might have a cute farmer's market sign doesn't mean I have to. Doesn't mean you have to. It's okay. This is your friendly reminder. It's okay. You can let it go. Clifford! I'm gonna let go of this guy. He's cute and all, but I don't need him. Okay, I started decluttering these. Um, I wasn't decluttering these because I love them and I want to add them to my gallery wall upstairs. I'm gonna put these with the other things. I'm gonna see if I can find space to put them on my gallery wall and if I can, I will add to it. If not, I'm going to see what I can replace and get rid of those, but we're gonna figure out something. Otherwise, they're going. Okay, I'm gonna bring this down. This is my spring decor. I did manage to narrow it down to one mid-sized container, but I wanna go through and see if there's anything else I can let go of. I'm gonna leave my Halloween bin, which is it's my Halloween fall bin right here. I'm gonna leave that to a separate video where I'm gonna go through seasonal decor because it's already nicely contained. But um, since this one is open, I'm just gonna go through it really quickly and see if there's anything I can part with. Christmas books. I didn't bring these up this year. Um, kids are slowly, well, they're not outgrowing Christmas books, but we're outgrowing the Christmas books that we really need to keep. So let's go through them and see what we can let go of. As an elementary school teacher, I teach kindergarten this year and I have been obsessed with books. I love them. I love picture books. I think they're beautiful. I love the illustrations. I love reading them. But sometimes we can have too many. And I know I have to let go of some. We're not bringing them out. If they're just sitting in the basement, not doing anything, collecting dust, it's one more thing that I have to manage. It's one more thing that I have to keep inventory of. And I don't want to anymore. So... 2023, we're keeping less inventory, we're clearing the clutter, and we're living more simple and minimal and clutter-free. Oh, okay. Now, look, see, like, this is gorgeous. Country Christmas. But it's all like, look, it's starting to warp. Okay. These aren't Christmas. doesn't love a Charlie Brown's Christmas. Let's see if it still plays. This is a definite keep. Okay, I found a few that I can let go of, ones that we never reach for, and ones that I probably have duplicates at school, um, and some of them for school would be too long to read, because kindergartners only have the attention span of a few seconds. <laughs> Honestly, you can't read a really long story with them, so... Um, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to part with these because we never re reach for them to read anyway. And some of the nicer hard covered books I'm going to keep. I took the sleeve, like the jackets off some of them because they just end up ripping and we don't really need them. But I will keep these books for next Christmas. 
and there was one like one snowy night we could really read um now but anyway i am going to put those away and we're going to declutter these ones sure these were decluttered in another video but never brought upstairs real life folks that's just... sometimes you just end up decluttering things and they stay in a pile in your space you were clearing out and sometimes they get brought to the donation center right away it is what it is it's real life it's just part of the process sometimes we have five minutes to declutter a space and we just simply do not have the time to get it out of the house and sometimes we have an hour that we can give to decluttering and other times we don't and this was a case of not having time i didn't have time to put it in to a bag to bring upstairs to bring to the car to bring to the donation center now all the donation centers are closed today because it is new year's day it's january 1st 2023 and i am going to make it a point tomorrow to bring all this stuff to the donation center and get it out of the house so I don't have to think about it anymore. And really, most of the time when I end up letting go of things, I don't miss it. I forget that I even had it in the first place. So it really speaks to me thinking about buying things and really, why did I buy it in the first place? I, I do feel that sometimes we are meant to have things in our life and they serve a purpose for that season that we are in. And then sometimes when after we buy it and we use it for a while, it's no longer serving a purpose and we don't need it. So it doesn't mean that we wasted money because we bought it. Um, it just means that, it just means that we've had our time with the item we've gotten our enjoyment out of it and we've it's fulfilled its purpose with us and it's time to pass it on and let some other people enjoy it and bring a new life to the item so these books served me i mean i had some duplicates as well so i'm going to put all these books into that bag Okay, so I'm out of time. I'm going to share with you the things that I am decluttering out of this storage room. I still have a long way to go, so there's definitely going to be a part two of clearing out the clutter in the storage room. But the shelves have space now for my Christmas decor, which I hope to bring down to two bins. Fingers crossed, maybe three, I don't know. We shall see. Just depends on what I keep and what I'm ready to part with right now. Um, Christmas is my favorite season, my favorite time of year, and I love decorating for it. But at the same time, I want to go more minimal. I want to go more simple. And that doesn't mean I can't have Christmas decorations. It's just I need to be intentional on what I'm keeping and what I'm going to use. And be realistic with myself with what items I'm going to put out next year. So let's take a look at these shelves now. So I kind of did a little bit of rearranging and I have two spots there and one spot there for some of my Christmas decorations. Uh, this shelf here is def... I mean, none of this is staying the way it is, but I am just not at a point right now to do the organizing. I've talked about this already in my video where I went through the seven lessons I learned from a year of extreme decluttering. And one of those lessons is I know that I am going to have to put some organizational systems in place, but that time is not right now. Now, yes, organizational systems will help a lot, but I need to go through the process of decluttering before I put those systems in place and before I spend the money on the items. 
So this is some spring decor here. I did go through that bin and I got rid of a lot of things. I made this. It was a DIY. I shared that on my channel back in 2018. I'll link the video if you're interested in how to make it. But this and this, this whole area is sentimental. I will go through that at a later date. This is fall decor and Halloween, I believe. I've really consolidated a lot. So... Um, I'm not going through. I'm going to save that for a separate video. This is dance costumes. I want Maddie to help me go through these and see what items she will realistically wear because we have not gone for any of these costumes yet. And uh, I have a feeling she probably won't want any of them, but we will see. This bin is Easter. Again, I'll go through that when I go through fall. This is toys. I want Maddie to be with me, mainly her things. So before I let go of any of those, I need her permission because they belong to her. That little bin is Valentine's Day. Very minimal. It's just things I reuse year after year, like little bags for like a little Valentine's Day gift for the kids. Nothing extreme, but I have a few things I like to put out. Then I have my Easter baskets. We reuse these two baskets year after year. <laughs> Fall things, Halloween bin in the back. These are the Christmas books I went through. This is a Halloween decor piece. These are pictures. I talked about what I'm going to do with those. The same with these. Two Christmas pillows left. On this shelf, we have some summer decor and some seasonal decor. These are Disney memorabilia. I want to hang up down here. Outdoor, outdoor, spring. This is for our gazebo. This here, honestly, I'm going to let go of this. Um, This is a DIY Mickey pumpkin I made. I'll link that video. This was made from Connor for me for Mother's Day when he was three. Down here, I have my candles, which I did not put out this year, but I will next year. So I'm going to keep those. Um, This is a mug rack. I'm not ready to part with it because I'm trying to decide if I'm going to bring it back upstairs our outdoor projector. This I did not use this year, but that was simply because of Cooper. I do plan on using it next year, uh, hopefully, if not the year after. Um, I love it. I'm not, I don't want to get rid of it. I think it's beautiful and it really fits with the aesthetic of my Christmas decorations. I am getting rid of this, but I am keeping my DIY Mickey topiary tree. That was a collab with my friend Diana from Being Mommy What Style. Um, we collabed again, I think that was 2018. Again, I'll link the video down in the description box and up in the icon in the sky. And you can check out how to make your very own Mickey topiary tree. I love it, but it was just not it, it was just not feasible this year with Cooper. Again, since theme, Cooper, puppy, choose. You know, it is what it is. So um, I'm keeping it though. And so that's pretty much where we are for these shelves. And that's where I ran out of time. This is my pile that I am getting rid of. Wow, is all I can say. These things and this bag. Anyway, so I found a spot with semi-decent lighting and you're going to have to excuse the mess in the background. It is what it is. But I'm going to share with you a few of the things that I decluttered out of the storage room. So like I shared, I have these pillows. So this Christmas pillow, this pumpkin pillow, and this orange pillow. The three of them are going to go. Then there was a lot of, I want to call Target Dollar Spot seasonal decor items that I had purchased that I'm just, they're not serving me anymore. So we have this cute little market sign. And I mean, I would have kept a lot of these if we had like a play kitchen, which would be really cute to decorate it. But again, not the season of life I'm in and not what I want to spend my time doing. Or managing so this market sign is going not tar target dollar spot but dollar store this green I don't even know what it's called green ball is going doll hat fairy garden and moss to go with it this pineapple is going I just I don't I don't use it, it it's cute lid comes off uh, I bought this at Kirkland's yeah Again, bought it probably because I bought it at Kirkland's and everybody shops at Kir Kirkland's, right? Like everybody needs to have the items from there and I'm, I'm over that. That's, that's not me anymore. 
this little thrifted pitcher. I have two of these silver pitchers, so this one I'm going to let go of. Still has a price tag, $4.99, Value Village. They don't even have to, if I donate it back to Valley Village, they won't even have to put the price tag on it. I already talked about this piece. I'm going to let that go. Then we have a Bath and Body Works candle holder. It has pineapples on it. We have a thrifted pitcher and another Target Dollar Spot Farmer's Market sign. We have a bunch of Christmas books. This cute little thrifted bird pitcher. These two little guys. And another... Target dollar spot farmer's market sign. How many of those do I really need? We have some cute woodland Christmas walls like window stickers. I forgot about these. These are cute. I would have used them this year but I honestly think they're just going in the garbage because I don't think they're sticky anymore. But look adorable aren't they? I'm gonna look and see if I can find some next year when Christmas rolls around. Little Franklin, this flower, and this sight word game. So that's everything that's in my box. Over in the bag, I have these three binders, these markers, a Nancy Drew book, a sight word game, and a pile of books. And so that is it. I'm gonna count up the items for fun and just see how many we're decluttering over the house today. 58 items are leaving the house and that is it for today's slowly simplifying my spaces video. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoy simplifying, decluttering, and minimizing content here on my channel. Let me know down in the comments if you are decluttering alongside with me. And we'll see you tomorrow for a Tuesday Tiny Tidy and next week for another Slowly Simplifying Your Space video on Monday. Remember, I love and appreciate you all. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.